Right, okay. Camp established, new base of operations, lovely jubbly. Can we get up here? No. So this is just a nothing thing, I guess. Oh, he says. There must be something here. You motherfucker, it's inside. How do I get in then? Nope, it's at the top. <laughs> Hooray, it's a bottle of Thedas. How exciting. Notes of blackcurrant with a honeysuckle finish also tastes like brandy. <laughs> sure. Well, you can get a good view, at least. So, if I look in that direction... That's all the way over here. Another memories of the grey thing. Hmm. Then that is a big thing over there. That is some kind of thing up there. Big statues over there. Cool. Alright, well, let's continue chasing the signs, shall we? And go close a rift. A rift! <laughs> Greetings, rift. It really does take a while to build up this focus bar, huh? Bro, why are you attacking me? I'm not attacking you. See it. We love to see it. We absolutely love to see it. You're about to die now. Oh, you're all about to die. Give me the loot. Yoink. Okay, and then the next one's all the way over there, sure. I missed a landmark. How did I run straight past that? What? I 
It's glowing bright blue. Oh wait, that's because I marked it. Duh. I hereby claim this whatever the fuck camp. Zori's Tower. One Zori's commander of the defense of Adamant Fortress during the long night against the second long night of the second blight gave his life in battle against a Herlock Alpha. A Herlock Alpha? They little bitches, mate. You died to a Herlock Alpha? Do you really deserve to call yourself a warden? I don't know. I'm just saying. I think you might be a pussy. Wait, these guys have already respawned? Hey. How about we don't fight? Does that sound good? Wasn't there another landmark around here? Am I being blind? Oh, it's down there. And let's not drop down there. <laughs> let's go ahead and not do that. It's everyone's favorite time. It's shard time. Oh, and it's everyone's second favorite time. Claiming a spot of sand. Lamar Tower. Senior Warden Lamar, hero of the Second Battle of Forward Pass, held back three charges of Darkspawn during the critical long night of the Second Blight and lost her life in service to Thanos. Do 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 do. There's one. Do 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 do. There's two. Do 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 do. There's three. Hooray. Hooray, hoorah, hoorah, hooray. Time to take down another Fade Rift today. It's Fade In time. Lads, let's go. Hello. No. Oh, the demons are fighting each other. Oh, hey, my thing is ready. Should I use it? Oh, it's not actually that big. I mean, it could get both of these guys. Is it worth it? I don't know if it's worth it. It takes so long to charge up. Should we really just spuff it on these? Let's see how much damage. Does it insta-kill these guys? Pretty much? Wait, it didn't... Did it miss that guy? I did not do much. I was expecting more, for sure. something it took so long to charge up. I was definitely expecting it to do a little bit more than that. Who just got a level? Didn't someone just get a level? Oh, never mind. Guess not. Two percent heal on kill. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Did really only one person drop loot from that? You sure, game? You certain?
doop doop. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. Okay, we are almost at another camp. Does it matter if we get the landmark first or not? I don't think it matters, right? Hooray. Supplies replenished. Um, okay, now we've got this camp. I'm pretty sure everyone got back, right? I'm pretty sure everyone got back from their stuff, so now we should go back to Skyhold. And set them out on new things because there's so many things so we can't just because otherwise i'm going to be in this place for like hours and hours like it's just massive waste of time if i don't travel back here and send them out on new things as soon as i can because there's just so much to do on the map i wish it would just spawn me at the war room is it going to spawn where is it going to spawn me actually maybe it will spawn me in the hall nope it spawns me outside I want to perform the long walk to get to where I want to go. Motherfucker! Committed to independence, I hear. Who are you? He said your request was uh, an insult to his rich Kunari heritage ambassador. I don't care if the Baron's son invited him. I don't care if he has stories prepared. If the Iron Bull wants to attend the soiree, he must find a decent shirt. Huh? Banta. Okay. Uh Report. My Lady Ambassador Hasmal extends its gratitude for your assistance with this Mage Templar foolishness. It is refreshing to deal with someone who offers more than empty promises. Please accept a token of our gratitude. We hope this newfound friendship will continue to benefit us both. Lovely jubbly. Power for a price. Formal document with impeccable filigree. The Inquisition is a sight to behold, a command of legions, hearts, and minds. It is worthy. Your Inquisitor is worthy, and my masters are pleased. I will bring my wares, and together we will extend your reach ever further. Now you trade not just in treasures, but in will. Influence 30. Lovely jubbly. Dorian's request. His leads were effective. The Inquisition found several locations where these Venatori could be hiding. Advanced camps, purpose unknown. If you wish to deal with these mages, I'm certain Dorian would be pleased. I'll mark the locations on your map should you pass by any on your travels. Cool, okay. Uh, now, which one here? This was Cullen's thing, right? Therenfall Redoubt seems quiet now, and there's a chance something there could give us a clue about how the Red Templars were made. I'd be happy to take the charges out to investigate the area. Oh, this is a long one. Two and a half hours? Fuck me. This calls for a light touch. My scouts can make a distraction, letting the charges sneak in close. Or I can send the charges in with Inquisition troops to bolster their numbers. Did you see uh, the message I sent? Yes. Thank you. Yeah, light touch it is, I think. Mainly because it's an entire fucking hour longer to do it Cullen's way and fuck that shit. Inquisitor. Uh. Shadows over Denerim? I'm curious what this is. My Lady Inquisitor. First, I feel I must apologize. When I arrived at Redcliffe Castle, things had progressed to the point where I simply wanted the rebel mages and everyone associated with them out of our lands. Now that time has passed and the breach has been sealed, I have come to learn more of what you represent, as well as the true threat you face. Of course, I speak of the Tevinta cult, which I have reason to believe has infiltrated the royal palace in Denerim. So, seeing as the Inquisition knows far more about them, I would ask for your assistance in hunting down these spies before they do hear what they did in Redcliffe. All of Ferelden would be grateful. Queen Anora. Huh, okay. Josephine's not participating. Liliana says, I have just the agent in mind for this. Allow me to send her to Denerim to quietly hunt down the spies. 
Cullen says, send forces to aid in the manhunt. Not only should we help, but everyone should see us doing it. No. That needs to be a Leliana one. Fuck. Motherfucker. Mm. Improve stability. That's a Cullen thing, right? Stability. The Inquisitor's efforts to close the Fade Rifts have increased stability in various regions across Thedas. However, demons sometimes remain, having wandered from the site of the original Rifts. The Inquisition has received numerous requests for aid in dealing with the problem. Josephine, local nobility should take an interest in securing their lands. We can appeal to them. Cullen, our soldiers can do sweeps of areas formerly containing Fade Rifts and eliminate any dealings. Cullen takes longer, but I feel like we should be doing it, not trying to get nobility to do it for us. To work? You do that, mate. You do that. That just leaves Josephine. What's Josephine going to do? Uh... Strike a bargain with merchant princes. That sounds like a Josephine thing. Inquisitor. The... Oh, yep. It literally... They cannot do it. Okay. Inquisitor, the allied merchants of the monarchy of Antiva have inquired whether they can assist us in any, any fashion. They could provide us with some of the finest goods in Thedas, a powerful boost to our prestige, and spread our influence north. The merchant princes will also attempt to ensnare us in contracts so convoluted that we will be eternally tied to them. If we are interested, we must send our most skilled negotiators. Our diplomats are well respected, and I feel we can come out ahead of the bargain if we are prepared to commit to it. I have chosen a few dozen diplomats to handle the merchant princes. I will, of course, inspect everything we sign myself. At your there service. We go. So you're 27 minutes. You are 50 minutes. And then this one's like fucking two and a half hours. God damn. Well, I sure can't wait to come back in two and a half hours and do this all again. Way. Well, hey, what a great mechanic, said nobody. <laughs> like I like I like the war table as a as an idea in and of itself i don't like the timers like everything else is really cool but the fucking timers is just some dumb shit man uh right let's go back to where we were boop uh wasn't there a cassandra thing i think there was a cassandra thing let's take cassandra instead of bolt Come on. Come on, you can do it, game. Come on, who's a good game? Yes, you are. Come on, you can do it. Here's a treat. Here's a little treat. Come on. Come on, game. You can manage to load it. There we go. Fuck me. Fuck me. Uh, Cassandra, did you have any upgrades? Uh, yes. Oh, right. We haven't read your thing. Templar. Long ago, the Seekers of Truth founded the Templar Order and taught them how to deal with hostile mages and their spells. Cassandra thus possesses all of the Templar's abilities without the risk of lyrium addiction. Well in. Spell Purge. Through faith and will, you dispel all hostile magic from the area around you. Spell Purge now deals massive area damage when dispelling barriers and other beneficial effects. Oh shit, that'd be really good. Uh, annulment. Ugh, Templar's an annulment. All of your Templar abilities now affect magic using enemies as well as demons. Hmm. Uh, Blessed Blades. You rally all of your nearby allies to fight with greater strength, especially when facing demons. What's the especially part? <laughs> like, it says it's damage bonus 15%, but then there's no, like, against demons, 25%. It's just, this is the damage bonus. Hmm. Uh, attacking enemies while you're affected by Blessed Blades reduces the cooldown times of Spell Purge and Wrath of Heaven. Allies retain the effects of Blessed Blades for a short time after leaving the area of effect. Oh, right. It's an area of effect. Wait. It doesn't say it's an area of effect. Hmm. Maker's Will. Your party's attacks have a chance to weaken their targets. Very nice. Your Righteous Further, ins further inspires the entire party to fight harder against demons specifically. 10% more against demons. Uh, rally. You inspire your allies to fight harder. Your party's guard, stamina, and mana build over time. And all party members can gain damage resistance against incoming attacks. That's cool. Uh, 15 seconds. Tier 1, 10% everything. Tier 2, 20. Tier 3, 30. Okay. Uh, the last sacrifice. Even should you fall, you give your allies the strength to fight on harder in your name. If you die, everyone else gets 100% health, 50% damage, 
but only for 10 seconds. Ah. <laughs> there is no darkness. Your faith is your protection against the elements and not for you alone. The entire party gains increased resistance to fire, ice, electric, and spirit damage. That's good. Wrath of Heaven. You summon a blinding pillar of light that stuns nearby enemies and damages demons. 400% weapon damage. Very nice. Very nice. Does even more damage to demons and leaves enemies st stunned longer. Or you're healed for each enemy you strike. Hmm. I think I'd go down the right-hand side. But, do I want to? Have I got everything I want to from here? I guess so. What's the middle one again? Stamina restored. Eh, I can live without that. Wasn't there... There was something that I wanted to get over here, wasn't there? Was it that? Armor bonus plus 20%? Yeah, I was going to go for that, wasn't I? Eh... I mean, it's cool. Hmm. I mean, it's not that cool. It's just a flat damage bonus, but it's good. <laughs> flat damage bonuses are good. But this is pretty cool. Let's go for that. Let's go for that. All right, all right, all right. I hereby claim this statue! Griffin Wing Monument. In honor of the wings of adamant, they, the brave griffins who gave their lives in service to keep the blight at bay. In war victory, in peace vigilance, in death sacrifice. Boop. Next one is all the way down there. Uh... I guess there wasn't a Cassandra thing over here? I thought there was a Cassandra thing over here. I know there's one up here, but I thought... I thought, it, I thought there was one down here as well, but I guess I missed saw. Hmm, fuck. Wait, there's someone right behind me? Hello? I just walked past... Or is it this dude? Visitors, thank the Maker. It's been so long since I've spoken to anyone. Have you come to observe the wildlife too? I think I found your supplies. A dead man out in the desert had these on him. Dead? Blessed Andraste. What about Marcus or Jeanette? This is terrible news. I am Frédéric of Serrault, foremost researcher of draconology in Orlais. I came here with an expedition from the university. But the others are all missing, and our work has been halted. White Claw Raiders have made off with much of our supplies. You will help me reclaim the equipment, will you not? You will champion the advancement of science. Tell me of this place. You're a scholar. What can you tell me about this region? <laughs> the Western Approach is a remarkable place, as you are no doubt aware. Many magnificent creatures make their home here. Vargas, dragons, phoenixes. They thrive where few others can. The land was poisoned by the Second Blight. The Warden Fortress has stood since that time. Before the Blight, the ancient Imperium ruled here. Actually, I saw some Tevinters recently. Studying the runes, perhaps. Okay. Uh, are you safe out here? The rest of your team went missing, and there are raiders all over the area. Should you be here alone? I don't know what happened to the rest of the expedition, but the raiders have left me completely undisturbed. I have also seen Grey Wardens and strangers in odd black clothing, but they all That's ignore worrying. my presence completely. Tell me about yourself. I am a professor at the University of Orlais. I have made it my life's work to write the definitive monograph on the hunting habits of dragons and their closest kin. On this trip alone, I have produced 20 scrolls of notes. More scholarship than has ever been done on the Southern Vargas. But my hope, my great ambition, is to observe the abyssal high dragon taking her prey. A sight no scholar has ever recorded. I have the supplies you are waiting for right here. But... Oh, 
Some of our equipment is still missing. If you happen to find more of it, please let me know. All right. We'll have to speak some other time. Cool, cool. So, everyone else who enters this desert dies, but they leave Frederick alone. Odd. Yeah, a little bit. Got a codex for him. Uh, Anton, if anyone alive can answer your questions about the social habits of the Greater Vinmark Wyvern, it is Prof it is Frederick of Seralt, Professor of Draconology at the Uni of Orlais. I've met him a few times and he is exceedingly knowledgeable about his field of study, although less knowledgeable about his current state of dress, the day of the week, and the location of his quill and ink, but nonetheless quite brilliant. Oh, there's another character I haven't read. Do -do -do. The Champion of Kirkwall, of course. I've heard the name Hawk on several lips this week. Many of us blame the champion for the events in Kirkwall which sparked a war and hurled all Thedas into chaos. But can we truly fault Hawk for what she did? She did literally nothing to spark anything. <laughs> Anders did. She was just there. Here was a poor refugee from Ferelden who came to the free marches fleeing the blight. Coming from a family of apostates, Hawk must have spent her life hiding from the Templars, hearing about the abuses to which mages under the care of the Circle were subjected. Care. Big fucking quotation marks. The care of the Circle. Make no mistake, there were abuses. We will never find a police peaceful solution to this conflict until we admit that we were partially responsible. Imagine how it must have been for Hawk when she rose to prominence for her role in ending the Canari threat of 934. From refugee to champion of Kirkwall, Hawk's position gave her power and influence. Nothing could touch her. Hawk always had sympathy for mages and perhaps wished to do more for them. Other champions' actions during the mage uprising so hard to understand, given all I have said? Following the destruction of the Chantry, Knight Commander Meredith invoked the right of annulment and called for the execution of every mage in Kirkwall. Because, you know, when one mage does a bad, that means we must kill all mages. Hmm. It was not right. Another injustice added to an already lengthy list. Hawk knew it and stood against her. She put herself between the Templars and the mages they sought to destroy and became a legend. Even though she later disappeared, fleeing Kirkwall and the Chantry's justice, what happened in Kirkwall that day changed Thedas forever. By defying Meredith and our order, Hawk became a beacon for the Mage Rebellion that gave the Mages hope, rallied them. They fought back, and here we now stand on the eve of the Divine Conclave, seeking peace before their rebellion destroys us all. Don't care about plant law. Uh, do, 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 do. Where is... Phoenix. Orlesians believe the Phoenix to be a herald of woe, perhaps because the creatures frequent inhospitable places where sane travellers fear to tread. It may also be because they belch a sort of sulphurous gas that reeks of rotten eggs and ancient peat bog, and flocks of the beasts have a pervasive odour of death about them. Orlesians are not always so metaphorical as they like to believe. Quillback. Eh, not really interested in that. Places. What new place have we got? The city-state of Kirkwall. Right. Uh, from the official, from the office of Provisional Viscount Bran of Kirkwall. Please circulate all functionaries. Swap in the names of our newest benefactors and let us be done with their endless attempts at cleverly veiled intentions. To the forces and/or diplomatic representatives of copy their names and meaningless honorifics here. Thank you for your kind offer of tiresome insistence, but I assure you that we are quite inundated with similar inquiries at the moment. It falls to me, as provisional Viscount, to draw your ire, and for that I sincerely apologise. I assure you that I do not wish to be this, this to be the case, neither the refusal nor my place in the delivery of it. Perhaps you will join the chorus of those questioning whether I possess the authority to deny you. Rest assured, when arrows are still in the air, it is common for those who desire stability, but who lack the will to fight for it, to impose the opportunity onto others deemed expendable. And as I was one of the few remaining who knew the relevant protocol, representing Freed Kirkwall apparently falls to me. Or rather, with the role left open, I was pushed in by unpopular vote. In either case, there is falling, but the precedent is well tested. I expect the previous is in no the previous in no way will deter you from continuing your aggressive inquiries. Kirkwall has always been a valuable port, the nexus of nearly all trade that flows between the Free Marches and Ferelden. It has changed hands many times before, and I expect, posturing leader's name, would see it do so again. On this point, I would urge caution, for a number of factors have deviated from the historical norm. While the office of Viscount has been vacant since the unfortunate end of the Dumar line, we have not been without effective leadership. The role of the champion in stabilising Kirkwall cannot be minimised, despite the actions that have been more widely circulated. No doubt your leaders heard that this, this is where the ripples of rebellion began. That is true, and violently so, which makes any stability we've earned preciously guarded. As those ripples travelled outward, our champion and others have committed to the continued calm of the centre. 
As such, we are eager to resume commerce and will entertain any and all promises of trade. I do assure you offers of protection and the extension of foreign borders of, or troops are not necessary. But I am nothing if not a realist. If your inquiry was made with genuine intent, then this appeal should suffice to end the matter graciously. If, however, your offer was mere formality before attempting a disguised occupation, I'll refer your f first to the examples of, cite the two most recent fools who would not listen, who made similar assumptions that we would be a desperate target. I would then direct you to the person who ensured that the forces of, those same two idiots, were summarily expelled in various states of dismemberment. Because, deluded new interloper, despite the fact that my underwhelming name carries the provisional Viscount honorific, Captain of the Guard Aveline Hendir, hello, has spontaneously and effectively assumed matters of defence. Well in. While we were temporarily without such guidance, she ensured the Guard were well prepared and I have welcomed her return. Her activation of the Kirkwall Militia has been spirited and fearless, two things I do not care to be known for, so I stay out her way. <laughs> for the sake of your health, I advise you do the same, and greatest respect to you, newest invading crown prick. <laughs> Provisional Viscount Bran. Who has a better story than Viscount Bran the Broken? The Western Approach, once these wastes were a land of plenty. Can you believe it? The rain came north over the Gamordan Peaks, turning the plains green and verdant for three months of the year. 800 years ago, that changed. During the second blight, Darkspawn spilled out of an enormous crack in the earth, corrupting it with their foul blood, and it never recovered. Even after they were driven back underground, the Grey Wardens built Adamant Fortress to stand watch over that chasm, but eventually even they abandoned it to the wind and the biting sand. What few of us eke out a living in this maker-forsaken place do so knowing that any number of deaths await us. Darkspawn raids, dragons, bandits, not to mention starvation from the lack of water and game. If we stay, it's because we know there are treasures buried in the bones of this place, ruins from a time when Tavinta ruled and even earlier. We pass tales around our campfires of the things we have seen shrouded in the dust storms. My favourites are the ones about relics that could restore the western approach once more, but I don't believe them. Truth be told, on nights when the wind is calm, I can stand on a hilltop and see for miles in the moonlight over a stark beauty of which no other Orlesian can claim to know the equal. On those nights, I hope it will never change. Do do tales. That's just a song. And are we done? Are we done? We're done. Okay, good. Good, good. Right, so oh my god, those are some big fucking areas to search. Yeah, how about no? Um Right, well let's continue following the Chantry Trail for now. How's the old inventory doing? Alright, not too bad, not too bad. Mm, where's the thing? Oh, I see a shiny. Ah, here it is. All the way over there, okay. Let's go get the shiny. Is that it? I think that's it. This seems like a job for Skyrim Horse. Yup. Ah, oh, Skyrim Horse. You are the best. Is this joint marked on the map? Yes. Memories of the Grey, Shards in the Approach, and a Fade Rift. 
Well, sorry, Black Wall. Once again, you are not getting to see this happen, but... I don't know if it actually matters. If it does, then... Whoops. We should look around. Who wants to go first? What is with the fucking, like, feathers all down the back? That's you. Now this would be a good point to use the thing if I had it, but I certainly do not. Combo detonator, by any chance? Uh, yes. Detonator on incapacitated foes. Okay, I gotta remember that. So is dispel, huh? Is this a detonator? No. Are any of these detonators? No, this is. Okay, so I've got both my green spells and immolate are detonators. For incapacitated enemies. Good to know. I will try and remember that because I definitely have not been. I think Blackwall would have liked to have been here for this. Oh, it's flashing the ladder. I was like, I was looking at the minimap like, there's something around here for me to pick up. It's a fucking ladder. Is there stuff down there that's flashing, I guess? Anything up here? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Grey whiskey. Bottle marked vintage warden jarin smash when dead. No. Uh Right, so that is up there, right? How do I get up there? Over here? Bonk. 14. Oh boy. 120 armor rating for rogue only, huh? Wait, there is something to... Uh. Skills? I didn't think there was something to loot up here, but it seems like there is. I missed it. Nice.
Well, let's get in on this action, I guess. Scrawled Raider note. Caravan of refugees drove off road so we could collect out a view of Imperial soldiers. Half died, but you can pick up the wounded. Sag. What's pinging here? Hey, research supplies. These are probably the supplies that little man was waiting for. Good thing I fucking checked that. Jesus. I very nearly didn't. The end must be nearby. Oh, all right. You coming for me or are we good? We're good? Okay. Look at this fucking thing. God damn. God damn. Greetings, bitches! supplies. Lovely. Immune? Well, that's just not okay. Oh, she's dead. <laughs> Rebel Mage's note, it just keeps staring at me. It had to go. What the fuck is this? Spirit barriers can only be damaged by lightning attacks. Sure, that works. I guess it was an ice barrier then. What the fuckity fuck is this? The creation of a phylactery. We let the boy rest the first night they brought him to the White Spire. I convinced Knight Commander Belrose to delay the ritual till the morning. The journey was long and the lad could barely keep his eyes open, poor thing. I was certain escape was the furth furthest thing from his mind. Medine found him a clean cot in with the other young apprentices, and when I came in with his supper, he was already fast asleep. In the morning, I showed Medine how the file was to be prepared. First, a simple charm to preserve and protect the glass. Then a spell that to keep... Then a spell that to keep the blood from forming dark clots. The last step could only be completed with the apprentice present. I sent a young Templar recruit off with a message that we were ready. The boy was escorted to the chamber by Belrose himself. I could tell he had just been awakened. There was a smear of dirt from his face, perhaps from the road. I called the boy to me and cleaned, the t cleaned his cheek with my sleeve as I explained the ritual. We have to take your blood, I said, because you're special and we don't want you to be lost. If it happens, the blood will allow us to find you and bring you home again. I let Medine take the lancet this time. The tremor in my hands was worse that day. I didn't want to make too deep a cut. I held the boy close and Medine made a small, neat incision on his palm, exactly as instructed. I felt the boy struggle and start to cry. 
He tried to pull away, but Medine gripped his hand firmly, letting the blood run into the fire. Then Medine cast the spell like we practiced. Within the file, the blood churned and grew bright in the presence of the mage to whom it was bound. It was done. Another phylactery, another link forged. He was leashed to the white spire. The boy could not look away from the glow. He was enthralled and the pain and the tears were forgotten. See, this is magic, I said to him. When you're older, I will teach you. Belrose let the boy hold his phylactery for several minutes before he locked it away in the chamber. Hey, mosaic piece, lovely. Man, it's such a fucking grim thing. Yes, we've just kidnapped a child, and now we're going to fucking draw blood from him and use it to stalk him across the world if he ever dares to leave the prison he shouldn't be in because he's done literally nothing wrong. Chantry Logbook. We so far cannot confirm that Faramond has had any luck attracting spirits at all. It may not be possible for spirits in the Fade to even see someone who has so long been tranquil. He wishes to continue the experiments. We will stay and observe until he is ready to leave. Templar Commander Armor. Warrior only, huh? Boop, 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 boop. Is that better? No. Is that it? This, that whole thing just for a couple of lore bits? I, I was kind of expecting an actual, like, proper reward. I don't know. I mean, I guess lore is a reward, but it's not anything new. It's just stories, right? We already know how that works. All right then, where now? Is this like, are we at the edge of the world kind of thing here? Feels like yes. What is all that black shit over there? Is there anything worth dropping down there for? Doesn't look like it. the edge of the map. Make it go further than that. Boo. Surprise! <laughs> Almost got a level. Someone was digging for things that should have been left undisturbed. I hereby claim this platform. The ground here trembles slightly underfoot. <laughs> Feed touched, that's right. I didn't explore this super thoroughly. Was there anything I missed? Is 
Sounds good. Hello. Now that is good. 11 constitution, 3 magic defense, 40 maximum health, 3 melee defense, 5 range defense, on hit, gain 2 guard. Oh my goodness. Cleansing rune, plus 20 damage versus corrupted. Wait, is there no drawback? Inflicts bonus damage against red templars and dark spawn on each weapon strike. There's no drawback? Oh, it's a fucking miracle. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, that is better. Well, it doesn't... Okay, it's seven less melee defense and five less range defense. But I think it makes up for that with a shitload of additional maximum health and then a shitload of additional constitution on top of that. And it does also have magic defense and you gain guard when you're hit. I think that's pretty good. I think that is pretty good. Oh my god, it looks sick as well. Look at that shit. Oh, man. Cassandra looking fucking baller. Do we have a spare ring for you now, by the way? Uh, ring of life drain? Sure. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Also, is this a mining thing I can claim that just doesn't show up on the map? Or... Bruh, please. Oh, I can read this. Ancient Warden Logbook. So close. We nearly reached him. Made it down to what looked like a dwarven tide. Nice. Where the song was actually audible, real, and thrumming through the air, not just in our heads. It rattled through the Lyrian pillars and shook the earth beneath our feet to its dreadful tempo. We lost 30 men in the last cave-in, and the Warden Commander is abandoning the mission. I tried to argue for one last push, but the rock is too unstable down there. We'll have to find another Archdemon somewhere more solid. Huh. So they were specifically looking for an archdemon. Interesting. That confirms that. Uh, right. Was I going to get this next? I think I was going to get this next, right? Uh, each time a barrier you've cast expires, the ability's cooldown time is reduced. That is pretty fucking good. Let's get that. And then after that, we'll get this, I guess. Although, if we unlock a new thingy, then I guess we might be putting points into that instead. I don't know, we'll see. Hey, here it is! I thought this looked like one of these places that we could we could grab. Yoink. Yoink. And then no ladder down. This is just a hole in the ground. Okay. Big old hole in the ground. Alright, so that is this done. Uh, let's go get that shard. And then we can return his supplies. Sounds like a plizan. I think we've been pretty thorough over in this section of the map. Hopefully you feel the same way. I think I've done as much as I can. Hope I haven't missed anything. You never know. I can't pick stuff up while I'm riding you, can I? Sadly not. Oh hey, we have enough to unlock the door. The first door. And gain four resistance, was it? To whatever the thing we find? 
After more than 30 days, I have yet to observe the Abyssal High Dragon in... Oh. Yes? Can I assist you? Uh, I found your supplies. I have the supplies you were waiting for right here. Now that I have my recipes back, I'll be able to concoct a bait the High Dragon cannot resist. I have most of what I need, but I still need to gather quillback intestines and a phoenix's tail feather. Tell me more about dragons. You study dragons. I'd be interested in hearing more about that. Oh, they are fascinating and little understood creatures, thought extinct for centuries. Now they seem to be making a comeback. The Nevarans wrote extensively on breeding and nesting behavior, but high dragon hunting patterns have never been studied. I would be most interested if you come across any Gurn corpses that might be victims of dragon attacks. Alrighty. We'll have to speak some other time. Gather quillback intestines. I will be sure to do that. Right, that is where we're going to leave things for today. We never went over in there, did we? No. Okay, we will have to do that. Um, dragon signs found. Okay. Interested in the location of any dead gurn showing signs that it was killed by a dragon. Three over there, one up there. Uh, cool, okay. Wait, there's how many? It only said you need to find four. Yeah, there's only you only need to find four, but there's like seven of them. Weird. Okay, well, yes, when we return, we will be continuing on with the Western approach. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Dragon Age Inquisition. Thanks for watching. See you then.